All right, this is One Last Midnight. Welcome back to another episode of Astroneer. And so yesterday I covered the button repeater and the battery sensor, but in my fevered state, I forgot to cover the last two modes of the battery sensor. So this video is to rectify that problem. If you haven't seen the first video, there's a link in the description to get back to it. You could check it out. In this video, we're gonna cover the last two modes of the battery sensor. So I hope you guys enjoy. As you can see in this scenario, I have the existing example that I was working on in the first video where I covered the button repeater and the battery sensor. The only difference is I've, I've added an additional setup here for medium generator and connected them together just to make this battery charge a little bit faster. But we have this battery set to a mode where it is at charged or empty. And what that means is when the battery is either charged or when the battery becomes empty, it will send off a signal. And you can see here, it's about to send off a signal through this segment line to all three of these items. And there the signal goes. And what that did was it turned off these two generators and turned on the auto extractor. Okay, we covered that pretty much in depth in the first video, but what I didn't cover was the remaining modes of the battery sensor. Okay, over here at this little setup, I have a little configuration set up so we can test the battery sensor with a mode of charged or not charged. Now, it's interesting to note that when you move the battery sensor from an empty battery, you can see the status is waiting for the batteries to be fully charged before it actually activates and if you move it to a charged battery, it says waiting for the batteries to not be fully charged. Now, what does that mean? Well, not fully charged is less than fully charged, right? So any, any of the battery, that any kind of reduction on the battery will cause it to fire. You need to look at it like this. If you're, this is more of a scenario of, I wanna keep my battery full. I wanna be able to run some sort of base building piece. It doesn't matter, this, this piece is arbitrary. It's whatever uses power, right? So replace this atmosphere condenser with whatever your base section you wanna maintain and, and have your batteries maintain power. So let's flip the batteries out. And now we're in a scenario of as soon as it loses some sort of charge, it will actually fire this generator and this generator will try to maintain the battery. And so that's what this mode is doing for you. This, this mode is trying to maintain the level of battery of charged. And if it goes, you know, slightly out of charge, it's gonna send off an activation signal. And when the battery is fully charged, it's also gonna send off another activation signal. So let's go ahead and see how this works. So I'm gonna take this nitrogen off and you can see it sent off an activation signal and it's like, hey man, Turn on the generator, and it's turning on the generator, and since the atmosphere condenser pulls a significant amount of power, the generator is never going to be able to completely recharge the battery unless the atmospheric condenser is off. And, and that's fine. In this test case, that's fine. So let's wait for the process to almost complete. All right, so the atmospheric condenser is almost done generating gas. And once it does, because of the new coating, it shuts off if there is some gas sitting here waiting to be picked up, the battery starts to refill. And the next signal will come on as soon as the battery is full, telling it to turn the generator off. And there you go. It turned the generator off, the battery is completely full. And once again, once the atmosphere condenser starts pulling on the battery, it's gonna send that signal again. Let's put it back real fast. And you can see that it sends a signal to shut it off. So that's how this mode is working. The charged and not charged mode. Here we are over at the last scenario, which we've got a battery sensor set to empty or not empty. And the current state on an empty battery is waiting for the battery not to be fully drained. If I was to put that on a full battery, you could see that it says waiting for the batteries to fully drain. So it's only gonna send off a signal once this battery is fully drained. And it will only send off a signal once this battery gains some charge. Now, I'll be 100% honest with you. 
I can't really figure out a really good use case for this scenario. But I think the way that they had intended it to be used was do something until my batteries completely drain and then fire a signal off to do something else. But I I don't know that it works 100% the way that I would expect it to work. Let me show you an example. If I have a full battery and I set up these segment pins to the generator and then I turn on the atmosphere condenser, the battery will drain and the event will fire when the battery gets completely drained. We'll come back to that. The battery is about to be fully drained. And so what's going to happen is, is a signal is going to get sent to the generator to turn on once the battery is fully drained. But the problem is, is that once the battery starts receiving power, it's also gonna send another signal. And you're gonna get this kind of looping repeat effect. And you'll get that effect until it kind of overloads and doesn't really know what to do anymore. So I don't know if this was the expected result. Again, I can't think of a really good use case for the empty or not empty. And I'm if somebody out there has a great use case for it, I'd love to see it and see how they're implementing it. Because right now, nothing comes to the top of my head about the battery empty, not empty use case for the battery sensor. Let me recap the battery modes for you, though, and try to give you a more, more concise explanation. The charged or empty mode is very simple, probably the simplest one to figure out. It fires off an activation signal when the battery is either completely charged or completely empty. Making a scenario of being able to turn off one thing and turn on another, very simple based off the state. The second mode, charged or not charged, the activation signal will fire when the battery is either fully charged or when the battery starts to lose even a little bit of power. Giving you a scenario where you can tell some equipment to maintain your battery levels while other items are running. And the third option, which is kind of confusing to me, but the reverse of the last option, which is empty or not empty. So an activation signal will fire when the battery becomes empty or when it receives a little bit of charge, giving you the ability to maintain an empty battery. I'm, I'm not, like I said, I'm not too sure on that one. It sounds weird, but that's what it is. That's it. If you like the video, hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Love to have you in the community. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, you can find the links in the description below and make sure to hit that notification bell so that you know when I go live and when I post new videos. Talk to you guys soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.